Hi everyone, Release Fight here. So I'm going to talk you through where to go after Bottle Grotto because up until this stage, the owl has turned up after every kind of big point in the game. However, that's not the case. Once you manage to make it through the second of the dungeons, Bottle Grotto. So I'm gonna talk you through where you need to go. Hopefully the video is going to help you out. If it does, drop me a like below. But firstly, I'm gonna cover some of the cool pickups that you can get to get some of the heart containers, which will help you out later on in the game. And the first of these is just to the south of the witch's cottage. So if you come down here and using your new power bracelet ability, you can move the rocks out of the way and head on down these stairs. When you get into the room at the bottom, you'll find this little route. And then it's just a case of using the, uh, the jump from Rock's Feather to be able to make it across and getting rid of any of the enemies that get in your way. If you then head on over here, you can get to this space and move this block just to the right by simply pushing it. And when you push it out of the way, that gives you just enough space to be able to pull off a jump over onto this block. Now it's a little bit tricky and a little bit fiddly, just keep trying until you get there, and then you can do a simple jump to make it over here. And that is the first of the hidden heart container pieces that I'm going to talk you through. There's also a cool little pickup just above the ledge, just above the Moblin Cave, and that's one of the seashells, one of the secret seashells hidden underneath this block. So that's definitely worth picking up while you're up in this area anyway. And then if you keep on heading around and go back to Mysterious Forest, you need to head back through here and you can pick up a mushroom along the way but then once you've picked up the mushroom, which you can then take to the witch to get turned into magic powder if you need it, head on into this area, which is the inside of the log, and this time you'll then be able to get through to that heart container. So you just need to move a few of these, uh, few of these blocks out of the way, you just move that, and then you can lift the skull, which will then allow you to get through to the heart container piece just over here on the left hand side. Now I'm not just gonna talk you through all the little pickups you can get, I am gonna talk you through what you actually need to do to be able to continue in with the story, but for now I'm just picking up a few of the cool things along the way. So now just continuing on, through the mysterious forest. If you just come on down and around here, you've got another block you can lift out of the way, get rid of the enemies, and you've got the chest just at the bottom here, and that will give you another one of the secret seashells. So continuing on through the, uh, through the mysterious forest, if you head on up to the top area here and take out this sword moblin, that'll give you the chance to be able to move this rock and reveal a secret staircase heading down. If you head on down the staircase, you'll find a slightly strange cave with a, uh, a little fire area just here. If you light the fire using magic powder, a kind of strange bat dude will appear that seems angry, but he'll give you a little power. So he's called Little Devil, apparently. Uh, so he'll give you some powers which will increase the amount of magic powder you can carry to, I think, 40. So currently you're at a level of 20, you can carry 20. But after he zaps you, you'll be able to carry 40, which will definitely come in handy later on in the game when you kind of need a lot more magic powder to be able to make it through some of the dungeons. So that's another good pickup to grab. So then come out of the mysterious forest and head back into Mabby Village. And then what you want to do is take Bow Wow back to Madam Meow Meow. And while she doesn't really give you anything cool, it is something you need to do to be able to, uh, to progress. So just take him back and she will give you, sadly, just a kiss and no more instructions in terms of what you need to do next. However, that's okay, I've got you covered. I'm gonna walk you through everything that you need to do after this to be able to head towards the next section in the game. And I'm also gonna talk you through any other pickups that you've got along the way. But before you leave Mabby Village, head on into the shop because some new things, new items have been added. And while I only need the bombs at this stage, you will need the deluxe shovel in the not too distant future. So grab one of those and all will be revealed towards the end of this video. It'll all make sense, don't worry about that. And then once you've got the shovel, it's also a good idea to grab some bombs which have now become available. And the bombs, they keep returning to the shop so you can keep getting a supply of bombs anytime you 
you need to. They're only 10 rupees, they're relatively cheap, and you will need them to be able to A, pick up one of the little pickups that I'm gonna do along the way, and secondly, for the main, main story. Now, the next thing I'm going to pick up is back at Tail Cave, so head on down south to Tail Cave, and then come up and around through here on the left-hand side. Don't worry about all the enemies, you don't need to kill anything at this stage, just head on through. Perhaps the only one to take out is this because it'll get in the way when you're using your bombs on that block there. So just take it out of the equation as soon as you can. It's a good idea just to get in a few hits on it and then that'll free you up to have loads of space to be able to drop a bomb by that little area here. So then go into the menu and apply a bomb to either X and Y. Head up to the space that you can see, drop the bomb and leave it to blow the door and then you'll be able to head on through to the chamber that you kind of probably would have seen on the map but realized you couldn't get earlier on when you first came to Tail Cave. And that's another one of the secret seashells in the bag. So then once that's done, keep on heading around to Rombo Shores across the beach and you'll come to this section here where you can shift the rocks out of the way and open the treasure chest. But this isn't really what we're here for. There's another secret seashell just down here. If you head on around, up and around. You can see a little house just at the bottom here. So I just figured while we're in this area, it's worth picking this up. But if you just head on into the house here, and uh, and you can see it on the map there if you're not too sure how to get to it. But uh, head on into this door, and you'll find the place is pretty empty at the moment. But if you break the pots by picking them up and throwing them, you'll find another one of the secret seashells. So that's quite a good haul of secret seashells. So then head on back to Mabby Village and head on over to the east and get this block out of the way. And you can head on in through the cave just to the north of here. So in here you'll be able to pick up another one of the heart container pieces. So you just need to move everything out of the way. So get rid of the enemies, push this out of the way, head on around here, and then you can start moving these and lifting all the skulls. And you'll eventually find your way across to the treasure chest. So it's just over here on the left hand side, there's only one thing to move out of the way now. So just push that out of the way and you'll be able to get to the treasure chest and that gives you another little batch of rupees, 50 rupees, which is a pretty good haul. So then head on down and here you just want to move the blocks in the right way. So you need to move this one across to the right, this one down and then you can lift the skull to be able to free up a route to pick up another one of the heart container pieces. So that's, uh, that's kind of well worth doing and kind of on your way as you're working your way around. So I figured it was a good one to include and then come out of that cave and head down south, take out the enemies and come into this phone booth to have a little chat and here's where you'll find what you're supposed to do next. So this is a good tip to be able to find out what you're meant to do. And here he talks about heading to Richard at Pothole Field. So that's where we need to head to. It's to the southeast of Mabby Village. So that's where we're heading to next. So then just head out of that little house, the little telephone house. And what you're aiming for is Pothole Field, which you can see on the map there. It's just to the southeast of where you are right now but it's a little tricky to get to, so I'm gonna walk you through the entire way. So if you just keep on heading up and around here and then head south from this area, you'll find a little route that runs by this, uh, this cave area here. If you keep on heading down, you don't have the key just yet, you'll have to come back and do that later. Keep heading down south, keep heading down here, and it's this house that you're actually looking for in Pothole Field. It's kind of easy to miss, but head on inside and in here, you'll find Richard who explains his plight and this is pretty much exactly what you need to do to be able to progress the storyline. It may not feel like it, you haven't had any owl drops to be able to tell you what you need to do, but this is exactly what you need to do. So having talked to Richard, you'll find out that he used to be in the castle and you need to go and retrieve golden leaves for him. So you say okay to that and essentially the next part of the journey is heading on up to Canalette Castle, which is difficult to get into. So I'm gonna talk you through how to get to Canalette Castle and how to actually make it inside. It's a bit of a tricky process, 
but head on out of Richard's house and what you're looking for is the castle which will appear on your map having talked to Richard and then head to the right and to the north and you'll find yourself getting closer to where you need to go. So it's a slightly laborious process uh, but keep on heading to the north here and then you need to head towards the east and then circle around. Now you can try to fight some of these enemies if you want to, but I'm kind of not for the purposes of this video. Instead, I'm just focusing on heading on over to the castle, which you can see to the north there. However, I decided to go south. You can go around the north way, uh, but essentially I'm just heading on around here, ignoring the enemies along the way and heading on around which you can see the route just circles around the back of this uh, this area here. Head north and you will find this monkey. And the monkey is called Kiki and it wants some bananas. Now if you haven't already picked up the bananas, you can check out how to do that in the video above. But essentially the process is the trading sequence in Mabi Village. So you will have started that off by picking up the Yoshi in the, uh, in the trendy game shop. You then take that to the mum in the north of Mabi Village who wants it for her baby and she'll give you a ribbon in exchange. You then take the ribbon to the chain chomp in the, uh, in the second door on the chain chomp's house and she will then give you some dog food. Once you've got the dog food, you head down to Torombo Shores and you give that to the, uh, the crocodile who will then give you the bananas. But if you don't know how to do any of that, like I said, the link was in the video above. And then once you've made it through here, you'll pick up a stick which will continue the trading sequence later on in the game. And once you get up here, you'll be able to take this plant out of the way and reveal a staircase. You can head down the stairs to be able to get into the castle, but before you do that, it's worth coming in here and talking to Aurea. And Aurea will give you a tip that in order to get the golden leaves inside the castle, you need to bomb suspicious places, which is why we picked up the bombs a little bit earlier. Richard also told you that you need to dig for the golden leaves, which is why we picked up the shovel. So that's the explanations out of the way. Next up, it's just head on down here, jump on up here with Rock's Feather, make it across the gap, and this will get you into Canalette Castle. And that's pretty much everything that you need to know about where to go after Bottle Grotto. Like I said earlier, it isn't massively explained in the game, However, that should be enough to get you going. So that's it. Hopefully the video helped you out. And if it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and hit that bell button if you want to get notifications for all of my videos as they come out. You can see the rest of my series on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments below and I will catch you next time.